It's the Mustangs' ball on the Cougar 48-yard line. Conley at the line of scrimmage. He's barking out the signals at uneven hut. Hut, hut. Hut one. Hut two. Hut three. He's released the ball, he's unprotected, and Toby comes out and slams right into it. Barrels into him, he is down, he is hurt, the flag is down, it is a definite personal foul. <laughs> and just sound the horns, because here come the troops. There's a battle royal going on in that field. Uh-oh, the referee has just singled Toby out of the ball game. Cheaters! Lousy, stinking cheaters! Cheaters! John, didn't you see it? I swear to you, they cheated. I'm not lying. I saw it, John. Why would anybody listen to me? I saw it. Neither and I don't deserve to win. I'm not shaking anybody's hand, you understand? Now when you cheat like that, never, never, never. What I saw was irrational, Doctor. The man thought that he had been cheated. He didn't know where he was or what he was doing. David, you are not a doctor. And if you were a professional, you would realize that you can't be sure of anything you think happened. Did you see what he did to Kermit Connolly? Now, we're not just talking about a hard-hitting football game. All right. What is it you want me to do? Well, I think that you ought to talk to Coach Haggerty. Coach Haggerty? And what will I say? That John Toby is a threat to his teammates and to himself. He's lost all control. I see suggests that he benched John Toby in the middle of the playoffs for the first time in his career because one assistant trainer thinks he's playing too rough. All right, then bench him long enough for you to have a talk with him. David, I have been talking to him for months, remember? Now, I'm not going to put my professional reputation on the line unless I have something a little more solid than your opinion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a session to conduct. hurt someone with this thing. That's bad, man. Yeah. We wouldn't want Burnett here to think that we're out of control. Now, would we? He might suggest to Haggerty that he bench us both. We heard you talking to Dr. Stewart, David. I gotta tell you, you disappoint us, man. We thought you wanted us to win the championship this year. You don't understand. I'm doing it for John's own good. He needs help. If he plays in any more games, he's gonna hurt somebody. That's the idea, son. That's a bad time of year for you to be thinking about the other teams. Don't do that again. Don't, don't do that anymore. You were hired to wrap ankles and to clean up around here, weren't you? What gives you the right to stick your nose in anybody else's business, huh? All right, I got, look, I just knock it off, okay? Just... about it, Burnett. 